Right, guys, welcome to day 22 of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths, keeping the math skills bubbling over while we can't be in school um, for year one and year two. Um, uh, please make sure you're sat with an adult. Uh, please make sure you've got a piece of paper and a pencil already. And uh, please, uh, unlike school, please call out, guys. Please join in. Um, love your mistakes. Um, uh, here we go. Fantastic. Here we go. We're going to start with counting backwards in ones. Are you ready? Starting at 80. I'll do this quite quickly. Okay, we need to get really fluent at this. Year two is just saying it's easy, but um, children often, when you get to this zero, when you get to the tens barrier going backwards, they get, get in a muddle. So off we go. 80, 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71, 70. 69, 68, good job, 67, 66, keep going, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, what's next? Well done, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, keep going, 32, 31, 30, 29, don't give up, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Who's going to get this one right? 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good job, guys. OK, get your piece of paper and a pencil out. We're going to have numbers between 150 and 189. We're going to be putting them in the right order. OK, so guys, pause your video in a second. I want you to write these numbers out in the correct order, starting at the lowest number at the bottom and the highest number at the top. So it should go in ascending order, they call that, where it goes bigger and bigger and bigger. OK, off we go. Pause the video and off we go. OK, well, straight off the bat, I can see that this has got 100. So that's going out the way while we think about other things. I might move these all over here while I look. Oh, that one's got 100 in it as well. So that's getting out of the way. Uh, which one's got the least tens here? This has got 50 so far. So 58. Let's have that one at the bottom. Uh, 66, 82. All right, guys, what's that number? Read that number to me. Yeah, 177. What's this number? Hard to say, 105. That's got no tens in it. Oh, it's got 10 tens, but it's got no tens in that column. So that one goes next, and then boom, off we go. Right, okay, get ready to pause the video. <laughs> yeah, ones, that's gonna be hard. I'm so sorry. Well, what a meanie. Okay, guys, pause the video, put those in the right order, go. OK, I can, I'm going to move it all to one side. 88 has no hundreds, so that's going first. These are so tricky. So they've all got 100. Who's got the least tens? Yeah, that one. How do you say that one? Yeah, 109. OK, let's have a look. Mm, this one. How do you say that one? 128. Whoops, ah, don't go away, I need you. Okay, so which has got the least tens now? Oh, they both have got three tens. So now we go to the units, to the ones, and it's this one. And then that one, and that leaves us this one. How'd you say this one? How do you say that one for me? 171. Here we go. OK, pause the video, write those in the correct order. OK. Now, I'm looking at these and it's quite confusing. There's so many of them, so I'm just going to... I can see there's two of them that don't have any hundreds, so I'm going to move the two that don't have any hundreds over here. 
Are there any one other ones that don't have hundreds? No. Nope. Right, let's have a look at these. So now they've both got five tens. Who's got the lowest ones? That one. Oh, and it's that one. <laughs> okay. Now, mm, all got 100. Who's got the least tens? This one. Now, say that one for me. 101. That would be hard to write down, wouldn't it? If you were writing 101, you couldn't see it. That would get us in a model. Uh, so let's have a look. How, who's got the least tens? This one. How'd you say that one? 154. Uh, least tens. Who's got the least tens? That one. How'd you say that one? 165. Least tens. 174. Ah, no, don't do it. Ah, what are you doing? Oh, honestly, what am I doing? I'm sorry. Right. There we go. All done. Is that what you got? Is that the order you put them in? Well done. One more, no more. Right, pause the video. Put them in the right order. No cheating. Actually, pause the video. Come on. Have a go. Do the work. That's it. Okay, so I'm hoping you've done it now. Let's have a look. Now, I think what I'm going to do is just move aside the numbers that are different. They're ones that have got no hundreds. So I can look at those on their own. So these have all got 100. So I can forget about those for a minute. Which one of these has, is the least? It's the lowest number. Yeah, 56. Then 98. Now, they've all got 100. Who's got the least tens? Uh, well, those have all got more than 20. So this is all something, 120 something. So now we go on to the units. Who's got the least units? That one. How do you say that one? 120. Now let's have a look at these. 124, 125. Oh, they're consecutive. They're one number and then the next number. Okay, who's got the least tens? Yeah, that one. Whoa, I don't want to knock it over. Whoa. Who's got the least tens? That one. Say that one for me. 178. Finally, 180. Oh, brilliant builder. Yeah, good job. Way to go. Finish. Genius. Completed. Whoopee. Maths Marvel. Love it. Okay, I'll put that in a link down below. Again, okay, I've said this other times. As soon as they get to year three, the teachers are always telling me they don't know their doubles and halves. We're not having that. We're going to know our doubles and halves so well. Double eight. Double eight is 16. Double five. Tension partner, double five. Yeah. Double one. Oh, dear. Two. No, no, I'm not having that one. Double six. Double six. 12, double three, yeah, six. Well, let's take it to the next level. So we're gonna use those facts that we know to um, come up with multiples of 10 versions. So it's really like with this one, you're just thinking double eight and then you're timesing it by 10. So there's 10 in here, 10 in here, 10 in here, 10 in here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. There's 80 all together in that row. If you double it, what's double eight? 16, so double 80, 160, double 30, double 3, like double 3, yeah, 60, double 100, yeah, 200, are you calling out guys, come on, join in, double 10, yeah, 20, double 0, it's just still 0, uh, double 50, Double 50, 100, that's an easier one. Double 30. Yeah, 60. Oh, well, let's skip that one. Um, let's see if we can find one we haven't had. Oh, double 20. Yeah, double 2 is 4, double 20 is 40. Okay, super job. Right, okay, we're going to do some bar model -y things now. You know, with our doubles. So, do -do -do. so let's have a look. We're going to do, we'll just get the pen quickly. Sorry, get myself in gear. <laughs> ah, what am I doing? So this one is nine. This one's double nine. What's this one? What's double nine? What's double nine? Attention partner. Yeah, 18. Good job. 
Okay, now if this one was 12, what would double 12 be? What would this be? That's made out of a 10, a 10. Oh, silly me. That's <laughs> ah! What would this one be? That's made out of a 10 and two ones. This one would be made out of two tens and two ones. That would be, sorry. Yeah, 24. Good job. 24. Double 12 is 24. Okay, now if this one was 16, what would half be? One part of an amount that was cut into two. What would half be? Half of 16 is... Yeah, 8. Good job. Okay. And if this one was 18, what would half be? One part of an amount that was cut into two. What would half of nine, 18... <laughs> I'm so rubbish. I always do that. What would half of 18 be? Yes, 9, if I hadn't already said it. Silly me. Okay, let's try another one. This is 1 metre. Now, if this is 1 metre, that is 100 centimetres. What would half be? One part of a length that was cut into two. What would half be? Yeah. 50, 50 bananas, 50 chickens, 50 centimetres. Good job. Okay, right. Uh, let's do another one. If this was one litre, which would be great if we were in Germany because it would be easier to read. But uh, let's get rid of that. One litre. Mmm. Now, first you've got to think about how much a litre is made out of. Well, how many millilitres? Do you remember? Yeah, 1,000. How do you spell 1,000 in maths? How many zeros? Yes, it's three zeros, so 1,000 millilitres. So now we've got to work out what half of that is. One part of an amount that was cut into two. All parts the same size. Now, 1,000 millilitres is 10 hundreds. So half of that, I know you're thinking about five, it's not ten hundreds, it's five hundreds. That's it? Is that what you thought? And is it litres? No, it's millilitres. Good job. Okay. Right. Now this one we did yesterday. If this is 50 centimetres, what's half one part of a length that was cut into two, all the same size? Right. Uh, now, what was half of 50 centimetres? Do you remember from yesterday? Yeah, 25 centimetres. Good job, 25, add 25 would be 50. Okay, okie dokie, let's go to something else. Right, now we've done litres and half litres. We've done steps of 100 and we have did a bit of steps of 50. Let's do another steps of 50 and fill up our tiny rocket. <laughs> Now, it's not quite, sorry, this isn't quite lined up very well, is it? I'm sorry, it's my fault. Um, start, here's zero, here's 100, assume it's halfway. What's halfway between zero and 100? Yeah, 50 millilitres. Here comes the next one. Whoa, what's that one? Read the scale, 400 millilitres. Is that right? No. No, you've got to spell 100 properly in maths. 400 millilitres. That's your brother gone. Out of space. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, I read that one. Oh dear, I can't skip it. I'm sorry, I have to just do it. Sorry, apologise. space next Let's have a look now that's a good one so here's 200 here's 300 it's half the way okay okie dokes what hey what's wrong with that oh i've written 205 i want 250 don't i okay one more no more 
Here it comes. One more, no more. Oh, we just had that one. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, well, let's pop it in quickly and we'll go. Right. Oh, okay, now, uh, again, the thing that's really good for me for measuring um, in millilitres at home is uh, making pancakes uh, and drops gone. So, you know, um, if there's an adult, obviously it has to be with an adult, but if there's an adult available, um, you could perhaps ask to make some pancakes or drops gone. Uh, let's finish with a game. Oh, this is so hard. Play your cards right, starting at 91, finishing at 110. If you think it's higher, shout higher. If you think it's lower, shout lower. We've got 107. Right, what do you think this one's going to be? I'm going to turn these numbers off. 107 is about here. There's 100 about here. Yeah, I think lower. Let's find out. Yes, 92. Now, 91's there. 92's got to be there. What do you reckon? Yeah, higher. Let's try higher. I think we're going to do all right this time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. why is that good? Why is it good? Tell your partner, why is it good? What's good about that? Yeah, 109, 100 is here. 109 is here. So what's it going to be? It's got to be lower, please. Yes. Oh, that's not so good. Why is that not so good? Why is it not so good? Yeah, 99 is about in the middle almost. Uh, should we say lower? Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh, oh no! Oh, when, am I, when are we going to get five right, eh? When are we going to get five? So 105 is about here. Yeah, let's go lower. Oh, we've won a blender. Oh, my word, a, fruit, a juice, fruit, fruity maker thing. Not an actual prize. Okay, uh, and your prize for today for just joining in and um, and practicing your maths every day is you get a slide that goes from your bedroom window whoosh, 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 around the corner all the way to your friend's house. And you have to ring a bell before you go. Otherwise, you'll get a surprise. Okay, awesome job, guys. Have a super day. Thanks for joining in. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.